Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have yet another box to open. Um, being a knife guy, one of my favorite things is to open a new knife, right? This is a loner, this isn't mine. Wish it was mine. But nonetheless, this is one of the more exciting knives that I've opened in quite a while. To be fair, every knife that I open is exciting. And so you've probably heard me say a lot. This is an exciting one. This is an exciting one. They're all pretty exciting because knives are what I'm into. So, fair is fair. I get excited about a lot of knives from a variety of price points, a variety of different makers and manufacturers, and I like knives. But this one is fairly special. So, if you've read the title, you'll see that this is the OZ Machine Company Roosevelt. Now, the Roosevelt is a knife that I started to notice a couple of months ago. Um, OZ Machine Company is a new maker on the scene. He was doing it part-time in addition to his day job, and recently he quit his day job and is now a full-time knife maker, which I am so excited about. And I've got a couple of friends who have gotten these, some of whom I know fairly well, other people who I just follow on Instagram, but I've seen a number of people get these. I think he numbers them, and I'm pretty sure, as of when I'm filming this, he's in the 70s on his builds. This one, I think, is number 62. I'll confirm that when I open it. Um, but he makes these knives basically just one at a time, custom, all him, out of his own shop. And the positivity that I have heard about these knives, for it being from a new maker, his first real design that he's making and putting to market, it's been staggering to me, the amount of good that I've heard about it. And I also happen to really like the way that they look aesthetically. I've been following him since I first started hearing about him, and looking at each of the builds that he does, they are just ridiculously impressive. Um, so I am beyond excited to check one of these out in person. I have heard, I hesitate to even say this selfishly um, because I, I want a spot, but I have heard that his books may be opening for some spots here in the very near future. Um, so I am trying to stay on top of being ready for that in case they do. I, I really, uh, assuming that I actually like this loaner, that by the way was loaned to me by my buddy Jason from the Millie PM2 Para 3 Club. Um, assuming that I like this as much as I think I'm going to, I am going to need to get on that, on that, uh, on his books. So, linked down below will be Jason's information. You'll be able to see that down below. And then I'll link to the OZ Machine Company site as well, maybe his Instagram, so you can see that stuff down there. But, let's see what we have here. Alright, so it's in this almost like pelican style case, which is awesome. <laughs> if this is the case that comes from OZ Machine Company, that's rad. Um, and then, <laughs> that's awesome. So, the person who borrowed this knife from Jason right before me was actually Thomas Moore, who is a buddy now at this point as well. And they co-run, co-founded the Millie PM2 Pair 3 Club. So Thomas put in a couple of these. I'm assuming it was Thomas who did it. Maybe Jason sent them to Thomas to send to me, but it was probably Thomas. Um, so thank you, either Thomas or Jason, whichever of you. Heck, I'll link to Thomas down below as well. His Instagram is phenomenal. If you're into Spider Coast, specifically the PM2, the Para 3, um, but Spider Coast in general, those aren't the only knives he has. Um, he is... Uh, you have to be following him. <laughs> um, just incredible. Anyway, let's get on to what we're here for. I have been so excited for this to arrive and to open it up. So, I've got a couple of latches here. It's a really cool case. All right, there's a paper in it. So we're gonna see what this says just in case. Oh, rad, so this is um, from OZ Machine Company to Jason who purchased the knife, um, just kind of the invoice. So saying the specs that he wanted, all of that. We don't need to read it because the knife is here. So we've got this nice foam-lined case. The knife is nested into, 
and we are going to go ahead and just start checking this out. I was right, this is number 62. These are all numbered, and so the people who own these and are into them, it's pretty cool that you can, uh, like, not only can you, like, fit into the catalog of builds, but OZ Machine Company, he's over there, and when he's building these, he's, like, sharing... <sighs> He's sharing progress and stuff on Instagram. Oh my goodness. Um, and as he does so, uh, you're able to like see the chronicle of each build as it goes along. And so there's like this numeric history of these knives as they're being built. And some of them are crazy with really wild materials. Some of them are more subdued and kind of plain Jane basic. And you're able to just see like, it, it's like his catalog of what he's capable of as time goes on. Um, man, let's start talking about this. <laughs> so, this one, the blade, I believe, is Zfinit. Um, I don't know if I'm even saying that right. I'm pretty sure Zfinit is the chemical equivalent to LC200N, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is a pretty cool blade steel. I really, really like this blade shape. This is excellent. I can see a little bit of tape residue on here, so this has cut something. So maybe I'll cut some tape with it as well. I'm not going to do anything crazy at all with this knife because it is ridiculously awesome and not mine. Um, as you can see, we've got a very usable blade shape. The means of deployment is a hole. Holes are greater than studs. I appreciate that. I like to middle finger flick knives and that is the way this is designed to open. Um, the handles are obviously titanium. I shouldn't say obviously. They're titanium. These happen to be, uh, I don't know if it's um, Cerakote or PVD or DLC, but they are black and they have gold hardware adorned throughout. We've got a nice gold anodized backspacer and then we have a milled 3D titanium clip which has also been anodized gold. This gold anodizing is probably the finest gold anodizing I have ever seen. It just looks ridiculously nice. Um, the oils from my fingers almost give it like this slightly pinkish hue. Um, it just it has a different sense to it than typically when I see titanium anodized to like a goldish color. It's more of a bronze and when it gets oils on it, it looks kind of purplish. This is like gold and pinkish. It's really it's another level of anodizing compared to what I'm used to seeing. It's got this like radiance to it. Um, the blade is stone washed and it looks excellent to me. It's really really well done. Everything is even, everything is chamfered. The spine on this knife is crowned. Goodness. Alright, yeah, this is just an unboxing. I'm gonna do my first impressions separate and give this knife a lot of breathing room to speak to me and then to share that with you guys. I'm not sure if I can thumb flick it because of the geometry. I don't feel like I'm even supposed to, but I can middle finger flick it. Oh, I did that like an idiot. <laughs> there we go. Um, wow, I like the size of this. I like the choil. Yeah, this is going to be fun. So this is the OZ Machine Company Roosevelt. Specifically, this is number 62, and it is a ridiculously cool knife. I am so excited to be experiencing this knife in person and uh, yeah my first inspection of it is really really good. I, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna be needing one of those book spots so hopefully I can get lucky and make that happen because goodness this is really really cool. So slim too. All right <laughs> that's enough for now. That'll be my first impressions. I keep trying to do that with like the tip of my finger. I should be using my nail. There we go. Yeah, this is sweet. All right, thank you again to Jason for allowing me to borrow this and check it out. I'll try to be relatively quick with it because I'm sure he is missing it, especially since I'm the second person um, to be checking it out. He probably really wants this knife back. I know I would, so I'll be pretty quick about it, but uh, I am so stoked to be checking this knife out. Awesome. Thank you so much. 
all of the people I mentioned will be linked down below, and uh, I really look forward to sharing more thoughts on this one with you guys. It is the OZ Machine Company Roosevelt, like I said, number 62, and it is awesome in person. <laughs> Absolutely just fantastic. Thanks, guys.